Hey guys, it's Mark Meyer here with your Fitness Friday. Today we got a special bonus for you. We're going to add in some exercises that you might have been working on, but change them up a little bit for your tricep, shoulders, and butt to create a great full body circuit workout okay, that you can do at home. All right. So the first one, a new tricep exercise for us, is called a dip on a, you can do it on a chair, on your couch, on your bed. Today we have a um, plyometric box here in the studio. So Rose is going to show us a dip, it's a traditional dip. You're going to start out, sit down on the bench, put your hands underneath your butt. Make sure if you're using a chair at home, make sure it doesn't have the rollers on it because if you do that, that chair is going to go flying. Okay? So make sure you're stable. Put your feet out in front of you just a little bit, walk it out. Okay? You can keep your legs straight or you can bend your knees to make it a little bit easier. You can bend your knees. Okay? You're going to bend your elbows so that your butt goes straight to the ground, okay? Just like that, and then push up. And if you want to make it a little more difficult towards the top of that tricep movement, you want to push yourself back towards that chair. Just like that. There you go. And make sure you don't really um, get your shoulders up tight close to your ears. Do 10 repetitions of that, and then we'll move on to the next exercise. Good job, Rose. Okay, guys. Here's a second tricep exercise in our circuit workout today. Okay, it's a palm to plank is what I call it. So you start out in a plank position and you come up to a push-up position. Okay, what you want to do and focus on in this exercise is not to get your hands out too far away from your body, in front or to the side, because you want to bring your hand in right underneath your chest and push straight up with that one arm tricep. Okay, so let's get down to the plank position rows. You're going to do 10 up-downs on one side, using that one arm to go up and down, and then you're going to switch arms. So let's start with your left arm rows. Go up with your left, good, and down with your left. Perfect, just like that. You're going to do 10 repetitions, and then switch, okay? How's that feel, Rose? It's fun. Working those triceps? Definitely. And again, we're also working the core. Keep that core nice and tight. Don't move those hips too much. Awesome job, Rose. Okay, check back for the next exercise. Okay guys, we're moving on to our shoulders. Okay, we hit the triceps, now we're gonna work the shoulders. All right, so again, we're back with a, um, a stability ball here in the gym, but you can use an ottoman at home, maybe the end of a bed. Uh, make sure you have your feet anchored though, so you don't um, go top and over, right? Okay, so Rose is going to put her feet on the wall, put her hips on the ball. She's got five pound dumbbells, Use anything at home that has some weight to it. Okay, you're going to bring your, your elbows up to 90 degrees here. Nice 90 degree bend, nice and parallel with the shoulders, okay? You're going to turn those uh, dumbbells up and then press above your head. Good. Touching those dumbbells above your head, back to the same position. Good. Just like that. So, thinking about rotating, if there was a if there was a bar that went right through your elbows and your shoulders, you're rotating on that bar, okay? Pressing up. Good. How's that feel, Rose? It's not easy. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, good. Ten repetitions of that, and then moving on to the next exercise. Okay, guys. Our second exercise in our circuit workout today is for our rear delts. Okay? We're going to be using a resistance band. Okay? These are really easy um, items to take along with you on vacations or any, going to work anywhere on the plane. Um, you just have to go online search resistance bands, and there's plenty of places you can buy these online, okay, they're really cheap too, okay? You're going to stand away, you got to anchor that resistance band to something on the wall. You can either do it through a, a doorway or um, wrap it around any type of apparatus that's going to keep that thing from not flying off, okay? Uh, you're going to grab the resistance band handle with one hand. We're working our right rear delt right here. You're going to um, not extend with the tricep. But keep that arm fairly straight, okay? Good. As you pull away from you, you're going to be working that rear delt. Do you feel that, Rose? I do. It's good resistance. Good. Now, if you want more resistance, you step farther away from where you have that resistance band anchored, just like that. Good. And you can tell it's just a little bit harder, right? That's what we want. Okay, 10 repetitions each side, and then moving on to the next exercise. Okay guys, we're on to our next exercise for the butt in our circuit workout series here. Rose is going to show us a lateral hop, okay? 
This requires a little bit of balance, coordination, which I totally understand. If you're a little bit worried about this, it's okay. Believe me, balance and coordination is something that's learned. We're not all born, in fact, nobody's born being able to stand on one foot. Okay, so don't worry about it. What you can do to practice, every once in a while, if you're standing in line anywhere, stand on one foot. Raise one leg up. People are going to look at you a little weird, but believe me, you're better off, okay? Your balance will get better. So, we're going to use two cones here. You can place anything you want on the floor just for a visual and a hand contact, okay? So you don't need cones like this. You don't have to go out to the store and buy anything. Anything will work, okay? You're going to start on one side, on one leg, you're going to pick up one leg, and you're going to hop to the other and land on that other leg, okay? I also want you to focus on reaching down for that object that you're jumping to with the opposite hand. And Rose is going to show you what I mean. So you're just going to step up one foot, hop to the other, and reach with that opposite hand, okay? What that's going to do is put a little more um, emphasis on that loop that you're landing on. So the leg that you're landing on, you're going to be really feeling that um, weight and stress on that butt muscle, okay? Now, one thing to note when you're doing these as well, is that you want to bend the knee. You notice what Rose was doing when she landed? She really uh, bent the knee, knee nicely. Just like that, good. If you don't do that, some of the uh, stress can go into the lower back, and that's what we want to avoid, okay? So that's our first uh, glute exercise in the circuit workout. Moving on to the next one. Okay guys, last exercise in our circuit workout. We're gonna get the heart rate up a little bit, okay? We're still working the glutes, still working the, a little bit more of the hamstring in this one, but we will be working the glute, okay? It's called a single leg burpee. Have you ever done it? I have not done a single leg. Awesome. So a new one for everybody. So you've seen the standard burpee. Let's show the standard burpee to start with, okay? So it's two feet on the ground, two hands on the ground, up and jump, right? It's hard enough as it is, but I thought maybe you guys out there would want a little more challenging because I know how good you are, okay? So we're going to go single leg. So stand on one leg, put down, foot goes back, up and jump. Good. You notice that left leg is never touching the ground, okay? She's completely using that right leg and the right glute to get her up and down, okay? Ten repetitions on one leg, ten repetitions on the other leg, okay? That's our last exercise in our circuit workout series today. I hope you enjoyed it. Check back next week where we're going to be focused on another set of uh, muscle groups, okay, one muscle group I should say, with three exercises, okay? Thanks a lot, guys.